Welcome to Education Today. I'm Eli Fraley. And I'm Hugh McClafferty from West American High School in the Armstrong School District. School plays are a great way for students and teachers to collaborate together, enjoying the arts. Today we'll be talking to the two teachers who organized the production of the play Annie, the first musical to ever be performed at West American High School. We'll also be talking to some students who were actors in the play. Welcome to Education Today. Thank you. Please introduce yourself and tell us a little about yourself. My name is Laura Bresnikan and I teach seventh grade reading at West Shemokin. I was the assistant director of the musical Annie and um, it was kind of an, just by chance that I got involved in that. My friend asked me to do it. <laughs> Why did you decide West Shemokin needed a musical? Well, um, my son had been in a musical last year, his senior year, they did The Wizard of Oz. And I saw how it completely changed him. He, inter he was introduced to so many different people. He had a new confidence about him. It was just an amazing experience. And when Miss Zielinski had mentioned doing it at West Shemokin, I thought for our kids that would be an absolute dream. Why did you choose Annie as the play? We chose Annie because um, when we had taken an interest survey of who would be interested in doing a musical, it was predominantly female. So <laughs> we had to take that into consideration. And then Ms. Zielinski had also already directed a production of Annie at Glendale High School where she had taught. So it, it was just a perfect fit. Tell us a little about your experience organizing the musical. Organizing was, um, it was difficult. We started at the end of last school year trying to find out who was interested. And quite honestly, we had no idea what we were doing. None of us had ever taken, most of us hadn't taken part. Ms. Zielinski had done the musical, but she wasn't the head director. So we had meetings over the summer trying to figure out what kind of sets we would need, props, where we would get the money, what kind of fundraising we would do, who was going to help with lighting and sound and construction. It was um, a pretty big undertaking. And then when the school year started doing auditions and trying to schedule practices, we found out that we were only allowed to have the scripts for a certain amount of time three months, I believe it was, so we couldn't get started as early as we wanted to, but it, it all worked out. Explain what it is like organizing such a large show. Um, it's very stressful, uh, there, but it was, it was fun. It really was. I miss it. It was a love-hate relationship. We had, um, had to go to Dr. Shutter so many times about little things, things that you couldn't even imagine making sure that all the um, orchestral pit had their clearances and making sure that the auditorium was available for us to use and um, it was it was a huge undertaking making sure that schedules were worked around sports schedules because we had a lot of students who played basketball and baseball and softball and volleyball but it worked out the coaches were really good to work with. Mr. Blystone was great to work with. How long did it take to prepare such a large show? Well, like I said, we started at the end of last year, and I think we could have still used more time if we would have had it. Um, but, and I think that's what we're going to do this year. We're going to start at the end of this year. We're trying to figure out what we're going to do, who's going to do what. We want to keep the same team in place that we had for this year. And we had a lot of juniors and underclassmen participating, which makes me feel really good. And the fact that they've already had experience is um, going to make it 10 times easier. Tell us a little about the backstage organization of the show of this magnitude. Wow. God bless Karen Simsick and Tammy Titus for all of their help backstage. They, 
pretty much ran the show. Ms. Zielinski and I didn't have to worry so much about props and construction. Mr. Moyer and his woodshop class took care of that. Mr. Buhite was a huge help in the auditorium. He knows it better than anybody else. And Miss, um, Mrs. Titus, who was one of our actors' mothers, she volunteered her time, and I think she knows everybody in Armstrong County. She knew a hat lady who brought us boxes of hats. She knew a dress lady. She knew um, everybody, everybody that we needed to have access to, she knew. She took time out of her day. She would spend weeks running back and forth through, to the thrift stores, trying to find orphan costumes. And when they didn't work, she would start doing the work herself. She was up till midnight sewing aprons for the servants. Karen Simsick, same thing. She was, she was amazing. They took care of absolutely everything. Do you have an idea of the musical you might like to do for next year? I do. However, I'm not going to share that at this time. It'll be a surprise. <laughs> Is there anything else you might like to add for the pleasure of our viewers? Um, I would like to encourage any students who were thinking about doing the musical, taking part in it, whether it was backstage, in the lighting and sound booth, or acting, to do it. There is nothing in the world that can replace the experience of taking part in a musical. And I had so many students say to me after the fact that they, they wish they would have been a part of it and they want to do it next year, but they were afraid, they didn't want to try out, they didn't want to sing alone on stage. But there are so many more things that go into a musical that they can be a part of. And I just highly recommend, if you have any thought of doing it, to just come out. Thank you. Stay tuned. After the commercial break, we will show you some footage from Annie and your remote interview with Mrs. Zielinski. The brain is a remarkable organ. It's almost infinite in its capacity. Its ability to reach its full potential is limited by only one thing, the heart. For if the heart isn't fully engaged in what you're doing, if you have no drive, no passion, the brain will simply go through the motions. Find your success at Indiana University of Pennsylvania. Welcome to Education Today. I'm Devin from West Shemokin High School in the Armstrong School District. I'm here with Ms. Zielinski from the Armstrong School District who helped superhead the first musical ever at West Shemokin High School. Welcome to Education Today. Do you believe the musical was a success? Definitely. I believe that the musical was a huge success. Um, Part of the reason um, that I think it was so successful is that it drew in so many people um, and not only brought so many different groups of kids together, but it also brought in our community and a lot, some of our administration, um, parents. I mean, it's just the, uh, the positive feedback that we got from it has been overwhelming and yeah, definitely a huge success for West Shemokin and the students. Was it difficult to work with the students in the school schedule or did they comply easily? Um, actually working with the students was the easy part. Um, the biggest challenge that we faced was their schedules. Um, a lot of the students were involved in various activities, especially sports, and we had to um, find a way to accommodate their schedules and our practice schedules so that everybody could kind of you know, work together as a team. But it was a little bit challenging at first, but towards the end, we just, we realized that we kind of had to split the kids half and half and with cooperation from their coaches and from our athletic director, um, they couldn't have been more supportive and more, you know, any more accommodating for us. So yeah, that was definitely the biggest challenge, but the students, never an issue with the students. That was, that was the fun and easy part. How long did it take to prepare for such a big show? Um, actually, the actual preparation for this year's musical began last summer. Um, we started getting together um, our production crew and um, a lot of the teachers and administrators. We started getting together and talking about how we were going to plan everything out and 
when things were going to take place, um, when the auditions were going to be, and then actually we didn't begin practicing until um, it was after Christmas in January last year. So um, the students had about three full months to prepare, but we only actually practiced a couple days a week, and then towards the end we we got to about three days a week with our Saturdays. So. Um, all in all, there's a lot of schools that practice every day, um, you know, the, those three months, but we actually were limited to only a couple days, some, sometimes, like I said, three. So I think for the practice time that we were able to get in, um, that's what made it such a huge success. How many people were involved with the creation of this production? Um, we had a number of people involved with our production crew, with our stage crew, with our cast. I would say you're looking at about 40 to 50 people. Um, and like I said, we had people in roles for, that had all different types of skills. Um, I, I was a part of, of the directing part of it, as was Mrs. Bresnikin. So we kind of were like overseeing everything that was going on, but we had um, an amazing backstage manager, um, Tammy Titus, who not only did so much with our costumes, but with our props and arranging everything backstage. We had Mr. Buhite who headed the sound, and um, actually he was more the lighting, and then we had Tammy Titus's husband, Brad Titus, who was um, responsible for all the sound and our microphones and everything. Um, Amy Dubetsky and Alicia Fleming were responsible for all of our production materials and our advertising. And our musical directors, which the biggest part of all of this, um, Elaine Kerr and Laura Strayer. So everybody played a very huge part. And we had parents, um, Vicki Zimmerman that was there and worked with kids during activity period. And there were so many people involved. That's why it, it was such a huge success. Is there a musical plan for next year as well? And if so, will you be involved in the production? Um, definitely involved in the production of it. Um, there will definitely be a musical next year as to what it is. We're still undecided. Um, we're throwing around some ideas. I know that the community would love to see Grease. Um, we've also um, had some comments about The Sound of Music and Bye Bye Birdie. So we're just kind of, we have to, we had to take a few, little bit of time here after this year's and and relax for a little bit but this summer I think that we're gonna all sit down and try to put something together that that is gonna benefit not only the students but the community is gonna find enjoying too because that was the biggest thing having them be a part of all this and draw in everybody so is there anything else you would like to add for the pleasure of our viewers um, the only thing that I would really like to add is that for anybody who is interested in acting, singing, being on stage, um, I encourage you to come out and, you know, be a part of this because um, this, I like to call it our family that we kind of have right now, this drama family is so much fun and it has brought together so many students, um, so many friendships have been developed that probably would have never been developed if it wasn't for this. So um, that that's the biggest thing. I encourage anybody who's interested in um, high school musicals to come take part.
They know that all it takes is one dreamer with passion, one person, and they hope in each of you that you might be that one who makes a longer lasting light bulb, who writes music for the ages, who reaches into the mind and discovers a new star and who can change the world of a fifth grader. We're gathered here to hope in you. Success, we see it every day. Hundreds of majors and programs, bachelor's degrees to PhDs, small classes, internationally known faculty who are committed to your success. Real world experiences to guide you on your career and life path, an alumni network 120,000 strong. I'm IUP President Mike Driscoll. Visit us. Find your success at Indiana University of Pennsylvania. Welcome back to Education Today. Today we are discussing the first musical to ever be created at West Shemokin High School, Annie. Earlier in the show we talked to the teachers who helped produce the play. Cassie Wolf and Rory Farsterhull are two of the many actors who participated in the production. Welcome to Education Today. Please introduce yourself and tell us a little about yourself. Uh, sure thing. My name is Rory Farsterhull. I am an 11th grader at West Shemokin High School and I'm involved in cross-country volleyball and I've also been part of chorus for most of my high school career along with uh, county chorus, district choir, and also region choir as well. I'm Cassie Wolf. I am also a junior at West Shemokin. I am involved in cross-country, yearbook, and Leo. Why did you decide to get involved in the play? Uh, I had seen a lot of West Shemokin's earlier productions between the smaller ones, they've done smaller plays and stuff before with a little bit of singing and whatnot, but nothing to the magnitude of what this year was. And after viewing all those, the one thing that I wanted to do was to be a part of it. And for a good many years there, they didn't have anything. And my biggest regret was just not being able to jump onto the bandwagon when I could have. And well, after Last year when I heard that they were going to be doing another musical, uh, I just wanted to get right into it. Um, for me, I just always was interested in acting. Like I uh, loved going to plays and seeing different musicals, so it was just kind of a dream of mine. What were auditions like? Auditions for me was a lot more nerve-wracking than the actual play itself because I was more concerned with whether or not I'd actually get to the part that I wanted rather than actually being able to get through it and play it on stage because I knew that we'd have tons of time to get through everything and be ready for the actual production itself. Um, auditions were definitely very nerve-wracking um, like having to perform and like sing in front of teachers like you see every day um, it was kind of I don't know, just a different experience, but it was, it was worth it. Would you encourage students to take part in being in a musical? Oh, absolutely. Uh, this year has been such a wonderful experience for me with the entire cast and crew. Honestly, I met so many more people that normally I never would have talked to beforehand through this play, and I've made so many more friends than what I had before. Yeah, I agree. You meet so many new people like you wouldn't have even probably spoken with um, and you just become so close. What was it like to act before a full house? Not as bad as what you'd think. Beforehand, honest, obviously your heart would be pumping and stuff and you'd be nervous just to get on stage. But once you're running through your lines on stage with everyone else and you're singing, you don't really think about the audience but more so just the fact that you're getting through it and telling the story that you're telling. And also with the clapping and the cheers of the audience after every scene and after every uh, song, it basically was exhilarating. 
and it got to the point where I think I can safely say for myself and for everyone else that we were excited to get back on stage between our own scenes. Yeah, I'd say it was more nerve-wracking before the play even started. Um, but once you get on stage and like you go through your lines with everyone else, it's just like what you've been doing. And then the whole atmosphere of the crowd it just made it like 10 times better than practice. So it was great. What was one of your favorite moments in the rehearsal or performance? I think one of my favorite moments was the night of the very first dress rehearsal. Uh, we had had a half day in school, so we got out at like 11.30ish. And after that, we had until 4 o'clock before we even got on stage to start practicing. Well, wait, 4 o'clock before we even started getting makeup and whatnot. And so between those however many hours, I basically just hung out with a lot of friends in the band room and actually one of my good friends, Nicholas Hill, he plays piano and there's an old piano that's sitting in the back that he was going at it on and it was a really fun time. Uh, one of my favorite moments was from the first night of the musical. After we all took our bows and everything, we were backing up off the stage and John Titus, who played Rooster Hannigan, tripped and fell into the Christmas tree, almost knocked it over, and like crushed three presents. It, <laughs> it was funny, but he was all right. Yeah, we didn't back up quite as much. No. <laughs> Are you hoping to participate in next year's show? Oh, absolutely. Uh, this year has been such a wonderful experience for me and for all the cast and crew. I think that next year we're going to have a very good turnout between people that are coming back from this year onto the next, and also from a lot of people that saw how amazing a production it was this year. It's just uh, being wanting to be a part of it next year. I think we're going to have a lot of people uh, ready to get out there and play. Yeah, I'm so excited to do next year's musical. It was just so great this year, and it made me appreciate the experience so much, so I'm ready. Do you have some suggestions for anyone who might like to participate in a musical? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, one thing that was going through my head before auditions and before thinking, okay, do I really want to do this, is I was thinking about all of the work that goes into getting this play together. Well, this musical. Uh, a lot of people think about that way too much. They're thinking about having about the hill that they have to climb rather than all the time that they have to get up it. We had between Christmas and only like three weeks ago, which was the actual production, to get everything together and to have everything ready. That was more than enough time for all of us to be ready and for the play to be a wonderful success. Um, I would suggest definitely don't be afraid to just pull, put out your full effort into the first like practice and run-throughs and everything because you know no one's gonna judge you on like trying to be your character and we're all gonna have to do that in the end anyway so might as well start off strong. Is there anything else that you would like us to know about the experience of being in a play? Yeah, there is one thing. Uh, when people go to the production and they see the musical on stage and whatnot, they only think about what's up front well, most of the time. They normally don't really think about everything that went on backstage and all the help that we had to get the thing together. Uh, between the directors and the stage crew and whatnot, working on props and stuff, uh, Beforehand, there'd be d days that we didn't get on our play practice until like 6 o'clock. And then right after that, I had volleyball at 6.30 to 8.30. And afterwards, I'd go back to the auditorium just to see how things were going. And the directors would still be there. They'd still be running through things that needed to be done. And well, they put a lot of time and effort into this whole production. And also, I'd like to put a big thank you to all the stage crew and stuff. Uh, on days that we'd have practice, we'd be out on the stage practicing our lines or doing the dance scenes or singing and whatnot. And then we'd be done, we'd go backstage and we'd look at all the stuff that they painted, all the things that they made for the actual production itself. It was amazing the amount of stuff that they got done. Uh, just, that's just one thing that I wanted to say to give a big thank you to the directors and the stage crew and everyone that helped make this production a wonderful piece.
Yeah, I agree. Like, it's not just the actors who make the play. It's stage crew, lighting, sound, like, just everyone backstage. We couldn't have, like, looked half as good without them. So, it, yeah. All right, well, thank you. Well, that's all for today. Thanks to Ms. Presnikin and Mrs. Linsky, as well as Cat Cassie Wolf and Roy Foster Hull. Also, a big thank you to the TV production class of West Shemokin High School, led by their teacher, Mrs. Karen Coulter. The students from West Shemokin were the film crew today. See you the next time on Education Today.